Through the early 2000s, the Yahoo Speed Solving Group was chugging along very nicely. People were posting their tips, sharing competition news, and generally having a good old time. By the middle of the decade, however, it was clear that it was getting old. The amount of cubers who used the group was enough that it became difficult to follow threads, and the layout of the Yahoo group was pretty difficult to use. The main issue was that there were no sub-forums, so all cubing-related threads went into the same pile. A newcomer to the cubing scene, Patrick Kelly, wasn't too happy with this, so he decided to start his own forum that would be nicer to use. With the help of Joel van Noort, he created a forum on Envision Free in 2006, with the domain rubix.has.it. It was fairly simple, but it was better organised than the Yahoo group, with subforums for different types of cubing, well-organised threads, and a more accessible user interface. There was a how-to section for tutorials, and a separate blind-solving section as this was beginning to grow in popularity. There was even a one-handed subforum for a while. When the forum was launched, an IRC channel was launched along with it. For those who don't know, IRC is one of the oldest forms of instant messaging that exists. While it's slowly losing popularity these days, there are many dedicated users of it due to the ease of access. The Hash Rubik channel was created by Alexander Ooms in 2005 on the IRC Storm servers before switching to Freenode in 2010. Over the course of the year, the popularity of the forum grew tremendously, and in less than a year, over 10,000 posts had been made. At this point, it was clear to Patrick that the forum needed to be moved to a dedicated server as opposed to just leeching off a free service. Around July 2007, the forum was officially moved to a vBulletin server and christened with a new domain, speedsolving.com. It stayed there ever since. Since then, the forum has only grown larger and larger. In August of 2008, the Speedsolving wiki was launched. Now featuring about a thousand articles, the wiki has information on pretty much every method that exists, as well as a couple that don't. It now has an algorithm database as well for 2x2 and 3x3 cubes. Speedsolving.com is the largest English language community for cubers in the world, and it shows no signs of slowing down. There are now interviews, a section for the long dead Cubecast podcast, and a ticker of the latest WCA news. While other places are beginning to become more popular for cubers to gather, its popularity is bound to last for a very long time.